Welcome back to my video. I'm Sammy Clark for those who do not know and I am so excited to take you guys in this week's video. I'm doing a week of my workouts so really taking you guys through what workouts I do in a week, what it looks like, especially filming for a fitness platform, what that looks like so you guys can kind of get a glimpse into my week of movement. It is chilly out so I'm wearing my first like warm coat which is crazy I've, i'm feeling the fall weather it's not fall until next week but you know we're here it is 8 30. i am right on time i'm about to film a workout for january challenge so i'm filming for january right now which is like one of my favorite challenges or programs it's pretty much a program so it's just like a fresh start to the year program so i'm filming for that already just because travel gets crazy and i want to make sure that this is like amazing and complete so today we have a booty workout in store it's gonna be a challenging one for sure and I'm excited to get into that I've had some fruit that's kind of really all I've had before because it's a little early and then a coffee so gonna get the workout going and I'll chat with you guys after we're good. How are you? Nice You're on the vlog. And oh, yes, my jacket. I love it. Dex got me this jacket. close to the edge now only thing they got is toxicity think you need a cleanse feel it i just got done well about like 10 minutes ago you guys that was killer it makes me so excited for the january program to be coming out because of these workouts that are just feeling so good on my body so this is this is good this is good again this will be the january program so not out for a while but consistently we have new workouts on form now my biggest thing is to make sure i eat a really good meal that's like the biggest thing you guys when working out i think a lot of people think the workouts are the most important and as a fitness trainer i'm telling you food is like so important in this role of like feeling your best but also reaching your goals of what you want to look like physically whatever it is for you you. food is so important so I'm probably gonna have right now like a really good nutritious breakfast lots of protein even because I just did a really like using a lot of weights I like to add a good carb in there and then some good fats so it's kind of based on the workout that I do is the meals that I eat so if I have like a little bit of a lighter workout then maybe I'll just do a smoothie but if I have one like that where I was lifting heavy and I really want to build muscles in the glutes from today I really want to make sure I'm having a super nutritious breakfast this is actually something I feel like I'm YouTube always gets the, the scoop because I feel like since you can just talk into the camera like this for much longer i always end up spilling the tea but we just have a lot of exciting things coming with form to help you guys and educate you on exactly what i'm talking about because my goal here is for you guys to succeed and have the knowledge because knowledge is power so everything that i have learned from professionals and you know what i know as a fitness trainer i am wanting to share with you guys so you can then implement it into your life and actually see the results you want to see and remember when you focus on creating a new lifestyle it's not a quick fix those things will not last so it's really focusing on the things that are going to be long term and that is my goal oh and then set is Gymshark which I will say it is not sweat proof it's very sweaty but it fits really cute to Tuesday second day of the week working out I'm filming a full body with a lot of core today 
So that'll be my Tuesday workout. It is only 20 minutes, so I'm also gonna film a short little workout after for the app. So that'll be, so my workout will be around 35 minutes today. But super excited to jump in. And my set today is actually from Cotton On, which was so random, but I love the little pattern and the shorts. It actually fits really nice. And I'm ready to move the body. And to give you guys a time frame of what time I'm working out today, today I'm working out at 12 p.m. So kind of in the middle of a day, a little random since we're filming and it's more of like production coming, going to head home feeling super good after that workout so now I'm gonna head home and I'll see you guys for tomorrow's workout I have an 8.30 class this morning, so it is Wednesday. My workout of the day is going to be a, I'm in a parking garage by the way, so it's a little dark, but my workout of the day is going to be a Mega Reformer class. Something I actually have been doing, this is my first week doing it, is taking one class a week. So usually I do my own workouts, and then like weekends I'll mix it up, but during the week I usually do my own. And I have just seen me, especially in this time where I felt like I was a little stuck or creative ready, I needed change, I needed a different, just like morning vibe or even workout vibe. It's like with anything, right? We're just like continuously growing and changing, so we gotta fulfill those needs. So my team and I are now doing once a week a different class so we do a different class a week and each person picks the class so this week it is a makeup reformer which I'm super excited to do I think about like when I first started my workout routine and figuring out what I wanted I tried a lot of things I remember I was like trying hot yoga I was doing the reformer Pilates I was doing boxing I was doing weightlifting I really tried it all and then I zoned in on the workouts that one I like felt amazing from I started to see results and two the ones that I wanted to keep going back to like, let's be real at the end of the day, I like drag myself to work out sometimes. So I'm not saying you're like so excited to go to that class, but you are excited because afterwards you feel amazing, you feel more energized, you don't feel more tired, you feel accomplished. It's really being aware of these feelings that you feel post-workout. That was huge for me. So when I first started out, I saw that I really enjoyed yoga, but it wasn't the workout that was like changing my body and like seeing all these results that I wanted. So instead that was more therapeutic for me. So I'd be like, okay, I'll do yoga once a week. And then what are my other workouts? So then I started doing like weight training that I did for a long time. I did it three times a week. And then I started to see that I was a little depleted. And then also my gym that I went to was really far. 
So then I started to do more at home workouts, obviously then quarantine happened and now they're just like my jam and I've seen the most results from my at home workouts. So I think it's really about trial and error for you and figuring out what works for you. Like at the end of the day, I have girlfriends who Pilates is their life. I have girlfriends that boxing is their life. I have girls that cycling is their life. Like you really have to figure out what works for you. And the best way to do that is just to try different classes. I also feel like it is really good to give your body, say you are like a crazy cycler. It is really good to give your body change because when we're consistent with things, it's amazing. But that different kind of workout it's going to be working like different muscles differently than you do on a daily basis right using a mega reformer is going to be very different than what i usually do at home so it's really good also for your muscles to feel that different type of workout so i would even say if you wanted to do like i'm doing now have your routine and then once a week add in a class or a different type of mu uh, workout or a hike whatever it is and then truly when i do a class what's really nice is bring your friends this is the time to for me I love having quality time with people while also benefiting myself so it's like going on a walk is beneficial for connecting with that friend but also getting some exercise and this is the same with the workout class I get to literally see I have Amanda Tiana Sammy and Shelby all going to this class like it's gonna be so nice so yeah it's a great little way to get your girls together and see each other when you have busy weeks so I'm gonna go take the class. I'll do my best to film in it. I've never been to this studio or this place, so I will do my best. Happy Wednesday. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little. And we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots. Thinking it will matter, keep me company downtown. Before the clock runs out. All right, post workout, just got dressed. That workout honestly was so good. It was pretty tough. I think the exercise I hate the most is a plank and in reformer Pilates, I feel like you do so many planks. So it's good for me to do something different and really push myself. I also noticed when I stopped paying attention to anyone else in the room and I just focused on my connection with my body, like truly when I'm in the exercise, I'm like, how are you feeling? Can you keep going? And usually you can, and you stop just thinking about the noise and other people and like it is such a different workout. So I deeply, deeply enjoyed that, but I will see you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's workout. Welcome to Thursday. I am getting ready to leave for my workout. I'm having a huge debate with my hair because I never really like to leave my bangs in front when I work out because I just feel like I get sweaty and gross. But I just washed my hair last night and I don't know if I want to slick it because when I slick it, then it gets indents. The daily debate of a girl who works out. But I am going to do a full body today. I actually really wanted to do a lower body today but I need to film a new workout for form and I already just filmed a new booty workout which was like a killer honestly one of my favorites that I filmed last week so this week I need to film a new workout that's not lower body and the reason I want to film lower body is because tomorrow I'm doing upper body so it's just like kind of how it goes but instead I'm just gonna do a killer full body today I am actually really grateful I'm filming this week because I actually am having a week where I am, gosh the wind makes me nervous, I am feeling so in touch with my body. I feel like I am understanding what it wants, I'm communicating, I'm asking what it wants, I'm asking what workouts it wants, I'm asking how it's feeling, I'm allowing my body to make the decisions and it's something I've really been leaning into and if you feel like that's something you want to do as well, how I kind of go about it is I just instead of just like making a decision so for instance if I wanted to work out and I was resistance towards working out that morning instead of just like dragging yourself and going and doing the workout you think you're gonna do maybe ask yourself okay body like what do I want to do do I want to do a strength workout do I want to take a class and give yourself maybe like two options and see where they're there's like energy and green light happening like when you move towards thinking about doing an at-home workout 
does your body light up a little bit more than saying, okay, I'm gonna go and take a class. Like kind of have this pause before you make a decision. So that's kind of what I've been doing. So even with writing my workouts, I will literally ask myself like, what do you really want to do today? And I wanted to do a like, honestly an intense strength full body plus a little bit of some cardio in there. But like, I just felt like my body wanting to feel strong, kind of push some limits today, which is very surprising for me too, but I'm feeling it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So asking yourself before you go into something in all aspects of your life, not just working out, I think is really important. And the more that you lean into the place that is giving you more energy, that's how you can kind of tell that is the answer is when you go towards it, your body feels open and lit up and energized. Now, if you go towards it and your body feels like like almost like this motion that's how I can kind of tell like I'm not feeling that today so what am I feeling it could even be maybe comparing to a walk or to a workout like maybe your body just needs a walk today so when you think about a walk does your body light up does it go green that's the color I see so kind of having that conversation I think is really done wonders for me so that's my little morning rant but I'm gonna go to the office, I'm gonna film a workout today. I'm just doing one because it'll be around 40 minutes as well. So that is like my workout of the day and just wanna crank that out. I also did go on a walk this morning. I walk pretty much every day, but it matters the range. So this morning my walk was probably like 30 minutes. So yeah, let's get it. Someone's getting a bath today. It's you. Real me to get it going, open me up Sweet talking like you mean it, but you're making it so complicated I f***ing hate it Every time I get too close, you push me away Don't wanna stick, telling me you don't want any obligations And how you hate them Don't call me just cause you're lonely Maybe I'm not I think about it way too much And every single thought Is making me Making me Give me something Straight from your heart All this insecurity Is tearing me apart You're making me Sleepless You're making me sleepless Yeah Oh my gosh, I feel so energized <laughs> to work out. And literally when I showed up for my workout, it was like, never mind, I don't feel that way. So cool. But I pushed through it and I did it. Now I'm gonna wash my face because that is the first thing I do. I have to like run really quick, but I have to wash my face. I know it's gross. I'm not washing my body, but I have to run out. But I like literally with my skin being obviously acne prone. The worst thing I can do is leave my skin after I just sweated so much. So I always wash. This is the Clear Stem Gentle Cleanser that I'm using. I really love this. I also, I don't have it in here, but I absolutely love this guy. So this is just the wash that I use. Okay, I'm just gonna use like a quarter amount, maybe less than that. And get my hands all so good. You guys, I was listening to a podcast. I can't remember which one it was. And it was talking so much about the integrity of our gut. And it was like, if you were a kid that didn't know that Advil and Tylenol were bad for you, like we need to talk about your gut. And I was like, oh my gosh, I took Tylenol and Advil like no one's business when I was younger. I was a dancer, I was moving my body a lot. So I would like, I don't know, be, my body would feel fatigued after dancing. And so I would legit take Advil if I had like a slight headache, the whole thing. And quick pause, I need to wash this off. All right, we're going in for round two because I had a tinted moisturizer on and please don't come at me about wearing tinted moisturizer when I film. I do like to have a little bit of something on because it makes me feel better, but it is a non-pore clogging one. So I feel like it's the best I can do while filming. I don't wear it when I like normally work out, but when I film, I do like to wear it. So yeah, 
just just know I am very aware that I'm trying my best not to wear makeup while I work out but anyway I was listening to this podcast and I am so focused on helping my gut because I think that's a huge reason that my skin has gone through so much and there's just little things along the way we did not know better that they were not okay for us and so first off cut yourself some slack secondly it's now aiming for the tools the foods the supplements that we can be taking to really regain the integrity of our gut our liver whatever it is for you my liver also is you know needs some guidance and i think that's just from taking like truly a lot of antibiotics as well when I was younger. Again, we are doing the best we can. I'm not being hard on myself about it, but if I can give any awareness, that is my goal here. So with me trying to gain the integrity of my gut lining back, my gut in general, that is why I take seed. And I know I talk about seed so much, but you guys know my obsession with it because I do think it just has such a purpose to help people actually get their bodies back to its healthiest place. So what seed's gonna do is it's gonna help really bring in what should be coming in, what should be leaving your system because we have so much coming through, through environmental foods, etc., from Advil, Tylenol, and it's gonna really help support your gut lining and really regaining the integrity of your gut again. So oh, I would, I'll show you guys the bottle after if you haven't seen it, but that is just another reason why I'm so passionate about finding the tools that will really help me be and feel my absolute best. And again, this is a journey. It's not an overnight, it can be very overwhelming. So just slowly use the tools that you are finding and researching that can really make a difference. You don't need to go buy 400 things right now. Like I always start small and buy one thing at once, see if it's making a difference and then go from there. Okay, I think we clean. I tried to wash my face for at least a minute. Just one glass in, you're already on my mind when it gets late. I, I am stressing a little bit, but this is just why technology is lame. Pretty much we're doing a, I guess I should say good morning, you guys. Everything is fine, but I have a live workout this morning on form and we are doing form with a friend. So we are allowing people to come on. Hold on, Shelby's here on Zach. Just got back in the car after my workout. Sorry, I didn't even get to finish. We just like were going through so many technical difficulties. So I just like had to be so focused on that. Oh, it's so hard because obviously owning my own business, I just want everything to go smoothly. And when something doesn't, it like that is like out of my control. So like pretty much the system that we go through to create our app, there's like someone on the back end that we work with, right? Cause like I'm by no means know how to technically build an app or work an app. And pretty much we did form with a friend. So that was like, we could have so many new members come on for free. And we had like over 150 signups. I was so excited for all of like these new people who have not tried form to be able to to join in on the live workout and it didn't work because they said that they had a bug in the system that like was totally making it down for new people to join so we ended up comp like we we figured it out and we sent a zoom so at least that people could join that did sign up but like that stuff just really hits hard on me again it's out of my control there's nothing I can do but I just was really excited for everyone who was new to join in. So anyway, that's why I like had to turn off the camera because I was like in the zone helping Shelbs do that. But all good in the hood. Now going to head home and eat something because I am starving. I obviously worked out really early. We did an 8 a.m. And so now I'm super, super hungry because all I've had is a little bit of fruit and 
some coffee. So gonna go work out. I also will link my set. It is from Leor from Bandier, but it's their brand Leor. I couldn't find the top online, so I'll link the one that is just like it that I actually like better because this one is a little bit high of a turtleneck and I would rather it be a little lower and their newest one is lower and also is like see-through, it's really cute. So I'm gonna link that below for you guys. But this is today's Friday workout. It did feel so good to get movement in before the weekend. It is always very satisfying when I do that to just like just get a good workout in and then feel good about going into the weekend. So I will show you guys my little workouts for the weekend. I usually take it chill or do what feels good. So yeah, happy Friday. Good morning from our front yard. Happy Saturday. We have a legit skunk that comes in the middle of the night and literally destroys the yard. Like, he's no, gardening. No, no, no. <laughs> There's free <laughs> so excited because JT is back in town. He has been gone the entire week, so it's just been little Riv and I, but super excited he's home. You guys, if you have any advice of what to do about the skunk in our front yard, like I don't even know what you would do. I think you can put get some sort of like repellent that you put around the outsides of it, but yeah. I, we just haven't got it yet. We've seen him on the ring camera. He's quite cute, but... He's actually tearing stuff up. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure that out. So we're gonna have no yard anymore. But for today's workout, Saturday is usually a very big rest day, recover day. Just enjoy the outdoors day. So JT and I are gonna go grab a coffee and then we're gonna go on a nice long walk. And that's kind of usually my Saturdays, just walking, lots of walking. So gonna start there and I'll catch you guys on my little walk. Happy Sunday. Oh my goodness, you guys, I am tired. I am so tired. Ravi, are you tired? Yeah, you're exhausted, aren't you? Oh my gosh, so I, Sundays are usually pretty different for me. I feel like some Sundays I'm taking a workout class or I'm just doing some recovery. It kind of matters what I'm feeling. I really just listen to my body and ask what it needs. And this Sunday, actually, I had girlfriends again I haven't seen my best friend Liz in so long and so she was like let's take a workout class and I was like perfect so I actually signed up for it it was at 9 30 and unfortunately it's fortunately unfortunately going to a Rams game with my family today and it was just too tight so I booked the class and then when I like looked at what time I needed to leave here for the Rams game it just would not work so I kind of like bit myself in the butt because I woke up thinking I was gonna go to that class and then I didn't get to go. So I met her for coffee because I haven't seen her in so long. So I didn't get to move this morning. So then I went to the Rams game and now I'm home and I'm just like so pooped because you know when you're just like, at least for me, so much energy and you're in a stadium with trillions of people, I just get like really tired after that. So it's 5.30 now, which again, tough time like timing of the day, but, and I would sauna and do some like recovery that way. JT's in the sauna right now, but I just washed my hair and that's just like such a daily issue. So I kind of feel like I want to do some core work and maybe just do like 10 minutes of core and like feel good because I did a little something. So I feel like that's what I'm going to do. I literally might just do it in my PJs right now. Okay. 10 minutes of core. That's what I'm doing. And then I just get it. I just tried to, whoa, never again. Go get your rope. I imagine this is how it is with children, but working out with a puppy is just impossible. Impossible. Every time I hit the ground, you think I'm trying to play. Okay, let's see if I can get through this. You, brother, move out of the way. Stop. <laughs> Remy! Please, chill. Remy! Okay, no. Mom's trying to work out. Mom is trying to keep her core. I got it. I'm gonna feed him right now. It's dinner time. Hold on. I cannot see the things I saw when I first. 
first met you There was a glimpse of what's to come I don't